Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another episode of Psychology of Color. So today I'm going to be talking about the color yellow. Um, if your favorite color is yellow, you might actually appreciate um, the psychology behind that mindset. So, because what, what the color yellow actually represents, for those who don't know, um, there are a few things. Five to be more specific. Optimism, hospitality, tranquility, uh, creativity, and temporality. So what does this mean? Well, in case you haven't, in case it's not obvious enough, all of those, I'm gonna narrow it down to two because it pretty, the two pretty much describe the other three. Creativity and hospitality. You're very welcoming and you're very optimistic. Because of this factor, it makes it easy to do projects and to do tasks that are necessary. <clears throat> now, just because this is your favorite company doesn't exactly mean you're always this way. And some people could be the complete opposite, but for the most part, usually it's not so much the case. Usually it does actually mean that that's how you generally are. Now, everybody has a certain amount of the opposing degree, um, which is fine. When you think about it, though, it kind of makes sense that a lot of the time when the psychology color is presented, a lot of the time there could be opposition to that psychology within the circumstances. For example, McDonald's. Their main color is yellow. But I've worked at McDonald's before and I can confirm that a lot of the time it's not really a good environment to work in. And yeah, it's not a good, I mean it's a good environment for little, little, little kids, sure. But once you become an adult, that place is kind of just, uh, I don't know. It's not exactly a good word to describe it. It's not a bad place, mind you, when you're like just a customer or something, but it's not exactly the best place. It, it's, it's, like for example, let's take the first of the five things that yellow represents. Optimism. There's barely ever any optimism amongst the workers there. It's kind of sad. Um, hospitality. Well, it is true that a lot of them can become hospitable a lot of the time, but it's not exact or hostile. Um, this is not exactly a good thing, though, at least in the way they go about it. And this, bear in mind, this is just from my own personal experiences and what I've seen. Um, tranquility. Once again, like hospitality, it goes both ways. There's a good version of tranquility and there's a bad version. There's also that blurred line in the center where it could be either or, and that's kind of what sits at McDonald's. Creativity. <laughs> yeah, right. McDonald's, creative. Maybe when it was first opening, when all its characters were more of a bigger thing, like in the 80s and 90s was when the last time they were at least as creative. Now, it's like they just go with the flow on things. So maybe, yeah, when the colors were first presented and all this, all, all, all the, like it was becoming a big restaurant at first, then yes, sure, possibly the psychology behind the color would actually make a lot of sense. Unfortunately, nowadays, eh, not really. It's a very bleak thing to think about. Now, the only reason I used McDonald's as an example is because it's one everybody know. It's an example that everybody can know about. Um, but yeah, it, the psychology, it doesn't, it, can apply to stores, restaurants, stuff like that sometimes, like this. But the psychology itself more has to do with the people. 
If your favorite color is yellow, you're probably an optimistic person. Now, just because your favorite color isn't, and say your favorite color is not, like me. My favorite color is red, but it doesn't exactly mean I'm not optimistic. In fact, most of the time I am. However, the five traits I presented are the supposedly strongest traits amongst those who have that kind of psychology. Bear in mind, though, everybody's mind is different. Now, I'll say this every time in every episode if I need to. Everybody's brain works differently, meaning just because the psychology behind the color is there doesn't mean it applies to you. I mean, let's say my favorite color was yellow. I can guarantee, if that was the case, only three of the five statements on there would actually apply. The other two wouldn't. And the three that would apply would actually be tranquility, optimism, and creativity. By the way, every time I look over, I'm just looking at my list that I have laid out for this. Hospitality, eh, kind of. But when you go over to, like, when you go through that, this is just an example of why your favorite color doesn't always apply to you, psychologically. What you wear, on the other hand, could. For example... Um, if you wear the color, like really bright colors a lot of the time, yellow, of any shade, you probably have that mindset among you a lot of the time. Does that mean you do? For sure. Like I said, no. Everyone's brain works differently, but it doesn't exactly, it's, it's a psychological idea that applies to most people. And yellow I just find interesting because of how positive the color uh, showcases someone. I don't know, but that's just me. Uh, What are your guys' thoughts on this kind of topic? Uh, What color would you like us to talk about next? Let us know these things in the comments below. Want to check out any of the other videos on this uh, list of the Psychology of Color series? Click link on the side of my head over here, and you'll be able to find it. As of right now, at least a couple others. It depends on when you're watching this. Click link on that side, and you might find something that you may enjoy more if this isn't quite your cup of tea. In the meantime, I am going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. See you guys later.